First, I want to say thank you to our friends at Play Monster for sending us these science kits for free. Greetings, Rocketeers! This is your Toy Commander, and are you guys ready for today's mission? Great, so am I. Okay, kids, we are celebrating today. Do you know what today is? No. It's National STEAM or STEM. That means science, technology, engineering, and math. So we're celebrating all things STEAM and STEM. And just to show you guys that it is actually November 8th, there's the proof right on my phone. Monday, November 8th. That's right, even though you may be watching this on a different day, it was filmed on National STEAM and STEM Day here on Planet Zizzle. Ooh. And we have these super cool experiment science kits. First we have this one here. This one's called My First <laughs> Science Kit. And this has 26 experiments with 37 contents and it's STEAM Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Wow. Let's look at the back and whoa, look at all that fun stuff they have in there. We'll take a look at that kit. And then look here in the back. We have huh? the Gadgets Factory. Ooh, who loves gadgets? I do. <gasps> this is 15 different gadget experiments with 80 plus content. Woo! They all have educational books inside too. Here's the front of the box and on the back it says, experiment with drawing and engineering to build your own incredible scribble bot. Wait, what? Scribblebot, I guess we'll find out what that is a little bit later on. And right here in this one, it's called the Coding Lab, Ooh, where you can use your math skills to figure out different coding experiments is 10 with 30 contents, and it also has an educational book. And these are all science for you. And here's the back of that one too. And it says, discover the fundamentals of coding while playing and having fun. Now, I don't think we're gonna be able to do all these experiments because we would be here for a long time. So yeah. we're gonna choose to do one or two experiments, okay? So I think we should check out this gadget factory. What do you think, guys? This one looks pretty cool. Yeah. So this one includes 15 with 80 contents and an educational book where you can huh? build robots, flying machines, hydraulic machines, magnetic mazes, Boomerangs and a lever. Ooh, vroom. All right, let's open it up and start our experiments. All right, kids, let's open up our gadgets factory and see what's inside. And here is our educational book. And we also have all the experiments in here too. So cool book. And what's this? We had some cutouts. So we're gonna be getting into what that is. These are all punch outs here. Whoa, look at this, a robotic hand. Ooh. All right, so what else? Thank you, all right. We have these two trays filled with various items in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's get this box out of the way so we can set up our lab. Anyways, a lot of stuff in here to go over, but I have to say science was one of my favorite subjects in school. No disrespect to the other teachers, but I loved science the most because we were doing cool experiments and we got to learn about outer space and all that fun stuff. Plus, we had a really cool science lab where we could do all these awesome experiments. All right, so let's take a quick look at what everything is. Whoa, look, we have a little motor. Whoa, look at that. We have a bunch of straws, some um, popsicle sticks, cups, spoons, balloons, cups, spoons, and balloons. And same with this side. We have some, looks like those things that the doctors use to do throat cultures. Open up, and you stick your tongue out, and it goes, ah, and you go, and they check your tonsils with those but those are giant popsicle sticks you can call them and some various other items in there but before we go on any further let's look at what experiment we'll be doing today okay and let's take a quick look at some of the experiments here and, and then we'll choose one or two depending on how much time they take so let's go over this whoa and here are all the contents a lot to go over but it's all in front here so this is our first page, Gadgets and Engineering, and it gives you some great information about what is a gadget and how do gadgets do this. On the next page it says Gadgets Factory, some more great info, and right here is our first experiment. This is a catapult. Okay, that one looks fun. 
And then right here on the next one, it's Magnetism and Gadget 2 is a Magnetic Maze. Flying Machines. Gadget 3 is a Spinning Cups. Elasticity is the Launcher is Gadget 4. Some really fun experiments. And Gadget 6 says Rubber Band Car. And let's see, Energy. Number 7, Explosive Boomerang. Movement, we have Balloon Car. Ooh, that one looks fun. Maybe we'll do that one too. All right, and then we have another number 10. It says Up and Down Pulley. Experiment number 11 says Hydraulic Arm. And experiment number 12 says Hydraulic Elevator. Whoa, and number 13, Robot Hand. That one looks awesome too. And 14 says Scribble Bot. And the last one here says Gadget 15 Space Robot. Oh, that one looks like would be fun too. So let's try that one also. All right, let's get to our first one, which is the balloon car. So let's go ahead and follow our instructions here. So on the top it says movement. When a body or a system changes position in relation to time, we can say that we are facing a movement. Physics, more specifically mechanics, studies this phenomenon. What you will need. Okay, so it looks like we need some paper straws, a balloon, some wooden sticks, a card with balloon car. Oh, we got that. And how to make it. Go with step number one. Okay, now step number two is to fold it where indicated. Match the same symbols and tape them together. Okay, so here's the body all put together and I had to tape both sides here for the head and the tail and the body together. Now, for the wheels, I had to go look for four round caps. And these are just some bottle caps from water bottles and we have plenty of these in the house to use. And I made a little hole with a needle right here in the middle. Ask an adult for some supervision on that. Let's go on to our next step. This is going to be the actual straw that has the balloon connected to the end that will propel this vehicle once I put the wheels on. Now according to the directions it says a red balloon but we only have green so there is a color variation with the balloons but that is not a big deal. So we're on to this step right here. We want a nice tight seal so none of the air escapes right here. So we'll just put that on nice and tight like that and then we'll blow it up from this end. Let's attach our wheels to the car. Let's insert these two axles through the holes here and pop them right out the other side. Just like that. They're a little bit extra long, but that's okay. Next, we need to cut these wooden sticks that'll go through these straws on each side that attaches to the wheel. Now we're going to attach the wheel, so let's put our wooden stick through and pop on one of the wheels. Okay, there's one. Now let's work on this side. Okay, so here's our back wheels and they spin, cool. Let's put on the front wheels now. Now the best way to put the wheel on is have the wooden peg on the bottom here just to give it a little bit of stability so you can press, there you go, just like that. And now let's put the other one on. Okay, now our car is ready for its engine, which is this right here. Let's attach this balloon and straw, which is step number 10. So how this balloon car works, it says right here, when filling the balloon, the molecules of air press against the walls. It is this pressure that allows the balloon to grow by stretching the rubber from which it is made. However, the balloon itself also exerts counter pressure, counteracting the force air propulsion phenomenon. Let's clear the table and get ready to test out our balloon car. Let's now blow it up. Okay kids, now you just want to hold your finger on the edge to release your car, we're gonna put it right here, and hopefully this thing works. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Woo, it works! <laughs> it's not very fast, let's try that again.
All right, I gave it a little bit more air. Are you ready? Let's release. Whoa, so All right, cool. guys, let's do one more experiment. So after our successful balloon car, let's try gadget 15, which is the space robot. We'll need four wooden sticks, one thick rubber band, some yellow yarn. We have our connecting wires here with the crocodile clips on the end, and there are two of them. We're also gonna need those, one and two. Our motor, and yes, here is our motor. And we need three of these uh, styrofoam balls. One, two, three. Some rubber bands, which we have right here. And last but not least is the actual cutout right here. So the robot cutout. We have to connect these three wooden sticks together right here to make a triangle. Now they are painted, but ours are just plain white and if you want to paint them, you could. All right, next step, here is our triangle. And according to our directions, we're in step number three. Put a ball on each end of the triangle and secure with rubber bands. Let's do that next. Okay, that's one. They are a little bit challenging to get these rubber bands to stay on here like this, but let's see if we can get this one here. There's two rubber bands and one rubber band. Oh, we got two on so far. Woohoo! And the last one. Okay, ta-da, we got all three on. Let's go on to our next step, which is to put a wooden stir in the slot of the space robot as indicated. So let's do this first. On the uh, paper part, you have to bend all the areas that you see that have a crease just so it's easier to make your box. Yeah. And this stick will go right through here and pop out the other side like that. Okay, next we need to take this engine and push it through what? this area right here. As you can see, the tip of the engine come out right just like that. Now we need to connect right to the engine, one on that side, and then we'll poke one through and attach it right inside like that. Now let's flip it over and detach the triangle with the styrofoam balls right to the bottom. All right, kids, this is where I'm at so far. Wow. Got the engine in there and these two terminals sticking out. Now they do recommend a C battery, which is pretty big. And this is a double A. Now the C battery um, would not fit underneath there, but the double A fits perfectly, so I'm gonna try it with a double A. And I also found an eraser to attach right to the front. Let's push that in like that. Let's attach our little robot head right on the top. I'm going to attempt now to connect these two terminals here to the end of the battery. I have my eraser. Now all I need to do is connect this to this side of the battery terminal and this thing should start vibrating, so let's give it a shot. Now it's going to be a delicate procedure because I have to get my fingers in there and underneath the eraser to make the connection. Alright, so now it has to touch. Oh, there we go. It worked for a second. Hold on, let me get, make sure I get a connection. Oh, it looks like it's working. There it is. Let's put it down. Whoa, look, there goes the robot. <laughs> Come on, buddy, back this way. And he's moving right along the table. And when you want to shut it off, all you need to do is disconnect one of the terminals. All right, now how this works, in these robots, it's electric motor that will allow the movement. The motor has a decentralized weight, the cork or the rubber, which causes it to vibrate. And it is the same vibration that makes the robot move. And look at him go over there. I had to put a little bit of weight on the other side because it was top heavy because all the weight was in the front of the robot over here with the battery and the motor, so it was tipping over. So I just tied a little battery to the back. 
All right, let's shut it off. And there it is. All right, kids, there you have our STEM science for you experiments. Now, these experiments do take a little bit of patience and time to put together and work, but they are super fun to play with. And you can also do this with your brothers and sisters or your friends. All right, kids, that's it for this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Smash that like button and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off, and I'll see you guys on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.